I was very lucky. Um, the hospital where I um, was I was taken to, um, they were in the early stages of um, what would have been the, the beginnings of stroke units. And so they were sort of geared to that sort of care. And I think for the, um, the fact that they, I had the opportunity to be in that sort of care, I, I think that's why my outcome has been as good as, as it has been. Normally there'll be a physiotherapist that's working on the acute stroke ward or, or in the acute medical ward where people might be located. And generally a physiotherapist will be involved very early on. Um, so it depends how medically well people are, but generally um, we're looking to try and get people people moving really early. So a physiotherapist would come and assess somebody and see what they could do in regards to their physical abilities. So are they able to roll over in bed to sit up? Um, are they able to stand up and walk? And then we'll come up with a, a, a treatment regime that will be designed to help people to learn to do those tasks better again. And generally we treat those things in, in quite a what, what's called a task specific way. So that means, you know, to get better at sitting, we're going to train your sitting again. And to get better at being able to stand up, we'll be doing exercises to help with standing up. So my role um, is very much involved in looking after acute care of people who've had a stroke. So people, when they first have a stroke, come into the hospital. And my role um, works very closely with, um, with the, the entire stroke team, but with the doctors to um, to see people in the emergency department, to diagnose the stroke and to look after the, the very first um, you know, minutes and hours after a person arrives in hospital, as well as providing some consultation to people after their stroke, after they've left the hospital, so in follow-up. I think that um, if we as health professionals are able to, to sort of you know, get a better understanding of what are, what are the things I really need to know about this, my patient fundamentally as a person, that helps you know, to know how to best look after them. Speech pathologists are regular visitors in that early period post-stroke just to make sure that people are safe with their swallowing and if there is a problem they can follow them quite regularly, check meals, work very closely with dietitians to make sure that the fluids and the foods are modified to a point that is safe for that person um, and then slowly work with them to improve the strength of the swallow as they go through so that hopefully they can, people can move back towards normal fluids, normal diet. Occupational therapists and physiotherapists have a, an overlap in, say, hand and arm rehabilitation as an area. Um, occupational therapists are, are interested in helping people or are able to help people who want to engage in activities, or we call them occupations, and that's where the name occupational therapy comes from. People who want to re-engage in an occupation or an activity like eating, using cutlery, driving, um, getting around in the community, getting back to childcare, um, or perhaps re-engaging in a work task. So looking at helping people to relearn those tasks or to perhaps learn a new task that they haven't learned before, um, and helping people to participate in activities in the community, such as getting on buses, um, returning to work. Luckily, I had a good physio that knew me. Um, she did um, exercises that were specific to carpentry, like holding material above your head, um, turning, twisting, you know, you, you got to turn a screwdriver, uh, sanding, back and forth movements, you know, I think it was really important to have a physiotherapist that really did understand what your goals were. My rehab specialist is wonderful. She's very supportive. She's keen to hear I, our ideas because she doesn't necessarily have the time to research everything and that the um, occupational and, and physiotherapists are really keen to learn and to try new ideas.